a young Provo violinist who was born with just one arm can now continue to perfect her talents, all thanks to a device that was designed by a BYU engineering student. Fox 13's Diego Romo shows us that a little creativity and determination can go a long way, and in a way that's positively Utah. Ten-year-old Adia Cardona is many things, a pianist, a violinist, and a student. But there is one thing she is not, a quitter. I don't think I will forget her anytime soon. Adia, from the moment I met her, I could tell she was very determined. Adia was born missing the bottom half of her right arm, something that has never stopped her from wanting to play violin. She told me that the two things that were important to her were being able to play the violin and to ride her bike. She was actually playing just with one arm. She'd have her instructor do the strings or she'd do the bow and she would switch back and forth. Doctors at Shriners Hospital fitted her with a prosthetic to help her play violin on her own, but there was still a problem. She couldn't get enough pressure as she wanted or she could, it would slide down the violin. Sometimes it was a little bit hard. Being the determined 10-year-old she is, Adia came up with a solution, and with the help of her violin teacher, she contacted Vanderpool, an engineering student and president of the Two Foot Prosthetics Club at BYU. I wasn't fixing anything wrong, per se. I was enabling Adia to do what she wanted. Vanderpool used a 3D printer and a craft dowel from Walmart to construct a device that looks like an antenna attached to her violin, all for under $10. When I practiced today and yesterday, I could put it on. I just thought, wow, it's easy. Despite the recognition for the creation of the device, Vanderpool says the real hero of this story is Adia. She still has struggles and she's still working hard despite them. And I think that there's definitely value in that message as well. Now, the Two Foot Prosthetics Club was founded by BYU students. They create and design affordable prosthetic devices for low-income patients in order to give them more freedom and flexibility. You can find more information on the club at fox13now.com. Live in Salt Lake City, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah. Now, Bob, I, I understand that you are quite the violinist yourself. What do you think of this young prodigy? Well, I tell you what, I did a lot of playing growing up, and uh, I am very very, very impressed, not only with her determination, but with the ingenuity of the BYU students. I mean, what a blessing to be able to give that ability to her and, and allow her to do what she loves so much. Absolutely. I think we have a lot of big things uh, to see with Adia moving forward. I have a feeling she's going to be quite the violinist. Uh, and and the, the big thing is you got to practice to keep up with her is the, is the big question. Here. Yeah, you bet I am. I will have to practice to keep up with her. Diego, thanks so much.